Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. And in the last video, we actually reached the Forbidden West for the very first time. Now, we began tracking this uh, track. I didn't actually see who it was for. The game just kind of said, follow this track. So we're going to follow this track. I think it's for this new gauntlet thing mechanic that we haven't seen before. Got to keep in mind, we're in a whole new area. So maybe new rubits, although that looks like a... Um, and new animals to kill. Wait, that's just a pig. But still, new animals to kill. New pigs to kill. New plants to get. Red thorn pepper. Oh! Yeah, I thought it was a bristleback. Do I need a bristleback for any reason? Should use shock ammo. No. I don't. Aloy! I don't have shock ammo. Please stop mentioning it. It's the only one I don't have. And she brings it up every five bloody seconds. That's the only one I don't have, isn't it? Ah, uh, we've kind of got it now because of the the, uh, the bolt blaster, so. Right. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're just a pig. And you're the same. Oh, that's a peccary. It's not a boar, it's a peccary. Oh, amazing. <laughs> it's such an exciting new world of animals to murder. And we've got these new crunchy spike stalks. And look at that, picking up two at once. Oh, that's good stuff. That that was definitely a worthy um, skill to pick up. Oh, hello. Right, no, no. I'm focused on the thing and then the other thing. I'm a focused man. The machine riders from before. I'm well known for that. I wonder what they're up to. I won the race. Pay up. You threw a rock in my face. <laughs> it's not like you can get any uglier. There's nothing wrong with that. That's the Mario Kart philosophy. Hey. Who are you? Everyone, we got company. Riding machines, huh? Who taught you to do that? Hey, squad, we got someone with a death wish here. Whoa, look at that hair. <laughs> what? Someone get a little lost in the desert? Hey, hey, what's that thing the Easterners keep saying we do? <laughs> oh, yeah. We all drink blood here, right? Maybe we should drink yours. You can try. Is that a challenge? Cool your blaze, Josek. Don't think you want to test your luck with a soldier that took down Regala's champion. We have no business with you, Outlander. I think we all had our fun. Road's right over there. Those machines used to be Regala's. But you don't look like holdouts to me. Who are you? How'd you get these mounts? Around here, you want something, you race for it. You cross that finish line first, I'll answer any questions you have. Aloy, you got a mount? Race is full. Actually, I think a spot just opened up. All right. What are the rules? Don't die. This ought to be good. Shut up, Pekka. <laughs> oh. Okay, you're on my side, I think. Sort of. This Trying way, to intimidate me. Let's get you that mount. Can't intimidate me. Aloy, destroyer of the champion. The savior of Meridian. The red-haired goddess. I see you carry a bow. Good. You'll need to use it if you want to win. What? Against the other racers? They will if you don't. We put everything on the line when we get on that track. Makes it worth something. You could test run the track if you want to. Just let me know when you're ready for the real thing. Let's do it! <laughs> you are. See you on the other side. Your hair was crazy. Okay, speed up. Brace to avoid damage. Hit other riders. Use aim backwards. For what? Hit other riders. Races for our one. Okay, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Oh, come on. Wait, what is going on? I got stuck on the... Move. Move. Move! I'm not gonna win now! 
<laughs> the charger just didn't move at all. Okay, my only goal now is to kill everyone. I saw an item. I don't stand a chance. <laughs> ah. I need to. Well, we we'll need to give this another go. Obviously. Oh, cheeky! Wait, wait. That's not where you meant to. Go. Where you meant to go? Ah! <laughs> I can see that now. He went the other way. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna come dead last here, so we need to <laughs> piece this together again. I don't actually. I haven't figured out how to use the bow. I'm not lost. Okay. Am I in first? No way I'm in first, right? Don't know how to use my bow, messed up many times, but I'm okay. Let's keep running, just keep running. Maybe I need to pick up the arrows to um, use my bow. Ah, come on! Okay, yeah, I do. Oh, you're up. You need to go down. Okay, that's that's the trick right there. Ah, oh, excuse me, folks. Ah, oh. all alone. There's no one here. But I don't know if I'm first, though. Honestly, oh, I am. Yeah, that's just so position in top right. I wasn't sure if maybe um, someone was just miles away. <laughs> essentially, man, I really thought I was gonna get dominated here. It definitely looked like I was going to. Peccary! <laughs> I did it! Well done, Aloy. Here. Your prize for winning the race. You earned it. I think you owe me some answers. Name's Atta. As for how we got these mounts, most of us here used to be rebels. Join Regala's army thinking we'd get a chance to fight in a real war against the Karja. Instead, Regala slaughtered our own in cold blood, barren light. When we made it back to camp, we snuck out on our mounts and never looked back. Been racing the clan lands ever since. Decided we were better off on our own. No rules, no chiefs. Just the speed of our mounts and the taste of blood. Doesn't sound too bad, I guess. Where's your quiet friend? The one with the mask? He didn't join the race. He gave up his spot so you could join. Probably for the best. What makes you say that? That one hasn't lost a single race. Doubt you would have gotten your answers if he stuck around. Maybe. You know, Hax found a spot to set up a race at the farthest end of Lowland Territory, right by the beach. Make your way there, maybe there'll be a spot waiting for you. If I'm in the area, I'll think about it. Hey, Loy, you here to join the race? I've already joined in the race. Completed Gauntlet 1 Dry Yearn. Got skill points, silver ingots, metal shards. Cool. I'm sorry, little peccary. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not that sorry. <laughs> what I just tried to do, I just tried to mount up like I was playing Elden Ring. <laughs> like, literally exactly the same way. Okay, we've got some things. The base. Interesting. There's a hunter over there and a campfire. Wait, I've been there, haven't I? So what I really want to do next is go to the tall neck. Let's drop that. <clears throat> As we work our way towards um, 
other things. Have we got that comfort? Apparently I've got that comfort. No. Oh, I don't have a fast travel pack. Uh, can I make fast travel packs? Is that a thing I can do? Or do I have to buy them? I think I might have to buy them, actually. Oh, wait, no. I, I'm sure I can make them. Um, I'd have to think for a moment how. Wild meat, Ridgewood. Not like it's costing me a lot of resources. Okay, so I can fast travel. Okay, I've got that one. Uh, when did I go over there? That's what's confusing me. <laughs> Alright, anyways, let's go that way. Grab that quest, and then we'll head further west towards the um, tall strider thing. It's a very interesting area. Look, it looks like a massive crater or something. Uh, I heard some suggestions to do these quests in a different order. Um, because I'll unlock the diving ability, assumedly, on the watery wet one. But given how much I out-level this quest already, this main quest, and it's five levels at this point in time. Oh, hello. It's five levels at this point in time. Um, I just think I should be trying to do them in order. If I have to wait a while to come back and get the ability to... Um, Unlock things. It's not, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Not the end of the world by any stretch. Oh, you quest person. Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. Seems like defeating Gruda is going to be our, uh, our ticket in everywhere, basically. Oh. There we go. <laughs> All right, so our first Tanakh settlement. Telling you what battles to fight. I agree, Draco. Look, we don't get those hearts, we don't get water, and everyone dies. What's going on? I'm going back to the pens. I'll gut those machines myself. So machines did this? An Easterner with a hair like blood. The Outlander from the Embassy. You killed Greta, Regala's champion. He was one of ours. It's Aloy, and I'm not looking for any trouble. Well, maybe I could use some trouble right about now. Out there is a big herd my people harvest. We take the machine's hearts, send them to our capital, get paid with water. It gets harder every year. Killer machines keep showing up to defend the herd. Last one hit us right as we were penning up our prey. Nearly wiped us out. But our quarry is still in the pens, which means if I can get their hearts, we can trade for the water we need. If you go out there alone, you'll probably wind up dead, Draka. I'm not going alone, Chaplain. The great champion killer is coming with me. How about you answer some questions first? And then we'll go harvest some hearts together. You mentioned the capital gives you water. There's no giving. We pay tribute for it with machine parts. Hearts being the most valuable. Every other desert village has some resource to exchange. But the capital of Scalding Spear is the only one with a constant supply of water. Here in dry country, it's the same as holding everyone's lives in their hands. It is the way of the desert. How we've always survived. Yeah. Just move, lol. Doesn't sound like you like this commander of yours. Survival in the desert requires a more disciplined approach than that of other clans. It means she really likes her rules and order. But you don't. I just don't like hers. <laughs> this is insubordination. I must be dehydrated. I like the Jaka. What can you tell me about this herd? Been there for years. We harvest the parts we need from it. No more, no less. New machines always show up to replace our kills. What about the killer machines you mentioned? They guard the herd. The more we take out, the more arrive. First sawtooths, then ravagers. Now, a sandblasted thunderjaw. Hit us right as we were herding machines into our pens. 
Had to leave half my hunters behind to fend it off. Only survivors are the ones you see here. Okay, we may have our first Thunderjaw. I heard him calling you Chaplain. What does that mean? It means I've survived our youth and outlived my brethren in many battles. As such, I counsel the Desert Clan. Those who reach my age are meant to share our wisdom with the young. Keep them on the true warrior's path when their stubbornness kicks up dust and clouds it. <laughs> you knew Regala's champion, Gruda. He was one of ours. So was Regala. Desert Clan's pride and joy. Why is she attacking her own people? She feels betrayed. Regala was a legend among our clan. Fearless and unrelenting. A marshal to Hikaru. Chief of all Tanakh. His judgment made flesh. What changed? The Karja king asked for peace, and Hikaru agreed. Regala wanted payment in kind for the atrocities the Karja committed. A Tanakh empire that would push into the east. So she challenged Hikaru's decision. He had no choice but to face her in combat. Hikaru won. She should have died by his hand then, but the chief let her live. For Tanakh, that kind of mercy is a bitter drink. Now that she rides machines and murders marshals, we might not be able to ignore her camps in the desert for much longer. No one in the desert clans touching those camps. This is between Regala and Hikaru. If the chief's strong enough to lead, he'll prevail. If he doesn't, he'll make way for one who is. That's a little harsh, isn't it? So is the desert. His judgment made flesh. I'm gonna. I need to integrate that saying into my daily life somehow. <laughs> I don't know how I would possibly do it, but it needs to be part of my life. I'll help you harvest those pen machines if I can. Probably better if you don't do it on your own. Seems like your village needs you right now. I like her. An outlander after my own heart. We can leave now, or I can meet you at our outpost southeast of here. I have something to take care of first. You go on ahead. I'll wait at the outpost for as long as I can. May the Ten protect you then. I'll await your return and report to the capital. Yeah, you do that. New side quest, Thirst for the Hunt. Okay. What have we got here? It's a tool. So you're not a tool, I'm not calling you a tool, you're a lovely person. What are we selling here? Ancient sculpture. <laughs> oh, excuse me, that's what we found in the barrel, isn't it? Apex claw strider heart. Oh, a heart's only for, um, for selling. That's an interesting idea. Because I've always felt bad, like, I always say, like, oh, maybe one day we could sell the things we're harvesting, you know? But, um, I always feel bad about it, because what if we need it as a resource? But if we could farm hearts, then I would feel a lot better about it. Oh, oh my face is, oh, just not working today. Right, so I've got that. What else we got here? We've got... <gasps> okay, well, let's head this way first. And then I think I know what we're doing for the rest of the video. <laughs> Replenish at the stash. Oh, hello. Hunter. Yes, very exciting. Always very exciting. You will sell me lightning bow. Lightning bow. Rope caster. Okay, I don't want to hear this. I don't really like the gauntlet thing. I'm sure they're useful in a way, but it's just not for me. That seems okay. I don't know where I would sl slot it in. We'd have to replace this. Which might be more useful, to be fair, to have a proper rope caster rather than this. I also, I'm not totally convinced by this either. This is, I would suggest, temporary. I might replace this with the rope caster. Because this just attaches to things that you then explode. But I quite like the idea of having a... um. A proper rope caster to tie down flying ones in particular, etc, etc. We'll see. Uh, do, do, do. What did I need for this? 
Spike Snout. Okay, we'll make a jump for that. Make a jump for everything. What's the other piece of armor I had? Whisper, this is my ninja one. Quiet Spear. Yeah, this is my ninja set. Roller back? What's a roller back? Never heard of a roller back before. Whatever that is, that's that's new. Um I guess if we wanted I do quite like how it looks. <laughs> Maybe if we wanted a set to use whilst sneaking around in, you know, bandit outposts and stuff like that, then this would be the one to use, so. These two less so, but I need them for the resistances. Um <clears throat> I gotta remember, it's cheaper for me to make ammo when I'm here. The problem is, I make so much ammo now <laughs> that I can't justify making anything. Uh, after, no, weapon. Eh. One more. It really does use all. I could probably upgrade this. Oh, yeah, I need a cluster for that one. That'll do. I don't want to go too far on that. Sure. I'm not really using it, but who cares? <clears throat> no, I care. I care. <laughs> I remember that I care. Okay, we've got another question mark up there. And then it's machine strike time. Intermediate as well. We're moving up in the world. It's all been beginner up till now, it's been pretty easy, but uh, maybe I'll actually lose a round. A little question mark. Oh, you're the chef, aren't you? I don't really care about the chef, if I'm honest. No. Okay. <laughs> Next up, machine strike. <clears throat> and before we do that, skills. Now, I was going into survivor. Did I finish what I wanted? I do want low health defense, but it's gonna cost me. Oh, it's gonna cost six to get that. So I think we're done with survivor for now. Potion proficiency probably isn't bad. Um, I can make them take. Hmm. I could get both levels of potion proficiency. I haven't been using them, but I, I feel like maybe I should be using them. You know, <laughs> they just haven't been necessary so far. Um, okay, so, but let's say that's done for now. We'll, we'll keep an eye on potion proficiency. I don't really care about those. Let's check out Infiltrator. I mean, Silent Strike and all this stuff, it's useful sometimes. I'm going to grab that. More damage on Silent Strike seems good. Because I can use, that's, it wasn't that expensive. I can use that one sneaking around. I don't really care about smoke bombs. Or being ninja -y in general, I guess, is the problem. Because it's just, it's not that useful against machines. It's more useful against, well, it's more useful in the general open world than it is in, in um... I, I honestly have most of the things that I would consider super important. Because I'm not a trapper, really. Food duration, that's interesting, actually. Craft things quicker. Hmm. 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 It might be this. It might it might be into here. <clears throat> jump off. Jump off an enemy to quickly reposition yourself. Okay, that's amazing. Shooting your target with an arrow immediately after jump off deals extra damage. How do I do it? Don't know. But it looks cool. Do it again. Do it again, Aloy. Hit and then you just click jump. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyone up for a game of machine strike? I am. This is probably what we're doing for the rest of the episode. <laughs> okay, we have to make a new set. Okay, what are we dealing with here? Uh, there's no super. High, there's very few super high points. It's mainly grassland and forest. <gasps> Sky Drifter. How do I delete a set? Wait, where's my set gone? Okay, whatever. Uh, right. Claw Strider. Sure, my big boy. 
with three points. He's just like a very standard melee sort of unit. Plowhorn. I don't really care about the plowhorn. In terms of it, we should be looking at the stats. So that's got two movement, two movement. I mean, the plowhorn is not very good. Considering it costs two points. I start off each turn. All pieces within attack range lose one health. That sounds good. Let's get a bristle back in there. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just try, I suppose. Let's see what you're made of. He's my big boy. I need to get him preferably onto high ground. It's going to go right, but he seems to be building from the left, so. That was a mistake. Go ahead. Ah, see, I knew I'd, I knew I'd mess that up. Instantly knew I'd mess that up. Right, you're gonna have to go up there. You're gonna have to go up there. All right, I'm up. Another piece off the board. Another? That's your first one. Oh, he did one hit me. See, he's just lost one attack. Oh, well, he's taking no damage there though. I can kill him. I can nearly kill him, but not quite. That's super annoying. What are you? This Glint Hawk is just... I don't know. Bam. Oh, no. I'm not liking how this is going. <laughs> unexpected. That's probably good, though. That's probably good. Oh, interesting. I could seem to, what to move again at the end of the turn. Hey, stop hitting me for One four down. damage! I'm absolutely getting smashed here. This is mad. My strategy seems to be paying off. Well, yeah, I'm getting destroyed. <laughs> that machine's done. I need to protect the borrower. I really, like, I have to protect the borrower. I don't want to move. My turn. Alright, is this... Yeah, rah, rah. Okay. <laughs> You're up. Borrower, you're going to go sit over there. You're going to stay there. What to do now? Ah, four damage! Why is it? F Whoa, you put what? Up a good fight, but looks like I win this time. How has it hit me for? F oh my god! That machine's done. I had that piece right where I wanted it. Your turn. Okay, we're doing well. Doing well. Another piece off the board. I had to, I had to wait to make sure I was doing well before I started to talk again. <laughs> I didn't realize the Claw Strider has two attack range. And that's making things a lot easier. Ah, oh, I killed my own unit. I'm an idiot. Look, he's even moving out his weaker units. Knew that'd work. Bam! Get him! Well Victory! <laughs> okay. We got there eventually. I just have to win two more rounds. Oh, horrible. But he's got, like, no units. He's only got four. They must be super strong. Let's give it a go. I'm gonna stick with my set. The board's set. 
Okay. So, close... Oh, Ravager. Scary. Two, nine health, man. Nine freaking health. So, yeah, the close ride is interesting. It's basically a, uh, a ranged unit in some ways. It's a, but it's a ranged unit that's also capable of melee. I think these charges are a mistake. I don't think these are worth the two FP that I'm spending on them. In retrospect. Hmm. Go ahead. Make my day. You're gonna sit up there. You're my boy. Three attack range. Jesus. I, I just want to end here. <laughs> Can I not do that? What will I do? That tech range is mad. Your move. Right, okay. Um Nice. Fool! What is this? Fine corn. It's, it's the drifter that I want to take down ideally. But uh, I'll take the points when I can. Guess we're putting that piece away. And it loses health anyway. No, my boy! Another piece off the board. I was the first one you've killed, you numpty. Right, my boy's dead. My uh, bristleback. Bristleback. <laughs> oh, oh, that's tempting. Wait, can I can I hit for the two that I need? Oh, I don't think so. Ah, oh, I'm so close to killing it. Ah. Pain. I'm scared if I do that, I'm gonna. No, screw it. Yeah. Should have seen that coming. Taking the kill. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We need to start moving over here to protect my claw strider. All right, I'm up. Oh, five damage. What? No, no. Wait, what? What? What was that? How are you hitting me for? Oh, you're on that bloody high ground. Got plus three in there. You need to go over there. All right. I'm in an okay position points wise. It's, it's very close, but the problem is. God, can I get hit from here? All right, I'm up. And that's how you win. Yeah, the problem is my machines were just weak. I don't like these. I don't like the charges. I think we need to change up our build a little bit. Oh my god. Okay. Close Rider, you're definitely in. Close Rider's a beast. Right, bur first of all, Burrows are pointless. I should never use Burrows because Scroungers are the same price, but they're just better, right, in every way. Thinking about it as well, I think I do prefer... Playing with um, smaller number of units, but better units, just because... Sure, you've got the same resources for building your team in the My first turn. place, but in terms of actually playing the game, you can only take two turns around, right? So you actually have a limited resource in terms of your turns, which means you want to spend those turns as efficiently as possible, which means you want to be playing and moving around your best units, surely. <laughs> I need to try to kill. That should do it, actually. All right, I'm up. There we go. Okay, I'm hemming them in, slowly but surely. Return. My problem is, I can't get to this one. It's just sitting on the high ground, this Ravager. And this range here is in Ravager range. So I'm gonna sort of swoop my way in, but carefully. My turn. I'm trying to force him backwards, or at least off that high ground. Okay, he's got a kill though. Guess we're putting that piece away. He needs two points, I need three. If I can kill the Ravager, I do win. How close am I gonna get? That's kill, that's kill, that's kill. I've done it, I've done it, right? Because this. Right, no. Uh, let me make sure I'm doing this correctly. Alright, so I need to. Oh, crap. You go first. I just finished it off. 
Yeah? Yeah! Bam! And with that, the game is yours. Victory! <laughs> Finally! Oh my god. Alright, it should be okay now. Set three is my set. Let's begin. Oh, he's got some scary looking units. Close right out again, over here. Scrounger, sit there. The bristlebacks are really good. You can kind of, in a way, treat them as though they've got an extra attack. That they don't actually have. Your move. Alright. Whoa, 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 what was that? Oh, you got a bristleback. Okay, that's cool. So he's got a bristleback and a close rider. Just like I do. Scrounger, just like I do. Yeah, these are very similar builds. You go on there. You go on there. Hold up this high ground right, for a little bit. He's lost two health on that close rider already. Just because he started it next to his bristleback like a fool. <laughs> You're up. Okay. And again, this bristleback has done three damage to his own team at the moment. Oh, baby, look at that. Oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I'll kill it, but it'll hurt my own guy. What will I do? There we go. Oh, I'm smashing this round. Go. No, my bristle back. Nee. Go ahead. Make my day. I think I think I need to move my close rider across and get it more into the battle. Right, where's my bristle? Hmm. Okay. Okay, turtling up a little bit. He seems to be coming towards me, so. Your move. I'm a little nervous about how this is going. He's about to take my bristle back. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Your turn. That kills that. Another piece off I need to make sure this close rider is in combat as much as possible, because at the end of it, it's my best unit. Oh, can we kill? We can kill this close rider. That'll actually get me victory. Can we do it? That hits for one. That hits for one. Ah, oh, I'm so... I'm actually so close. That's so annoying. I think it's worth doing anyway, right? Yep. Do I... I don't have a bristleback, do I? Oh, do I have a bristleback? This is it. This is the kill. Oh, no, it's already a skill. Bam. Mmm. You beat me. On all my boards, in fact. You should have this thing. <sighs> That's hard work. Sky Drifter. Cool. I'll see you later. I definitely think it's better to, um, as I say, start going for like the just the higher value pieces essentially. So we gotta do the hunt. I kind of really want. Oh, what's this? Spike snouts. Why do I need the webbing? I don't remember what I need the webbing for, but we'll go do that as well. We. <laughs> Let's go see what Draka is farming. Oh wait, this is a Thunder Jaw, isn't it? <laughs> now that I think about it. Oh, that'll be fun. And fun is fun. I like fun. Don't tell anyone now. Uh yeah, straight on. I should have just said we'll go right away, because... Well, no, I, I had to play Machine Strike, obviously. <laughs> what am I on about? The only problem is, I know I'm going to cut some of that out, but I don't know how much... It's always tricky when you want to cut down the videos, because then I'm like, well, how long do I record for, basically? What is that? 
Behemoth. What's that? It's like twenty-five different machines here. Could use acid against it. Oh wait, that's a um. Bellowback, I remember. They were in the last game. The Beowulf is new, I think. Nah! Ravager, nah! That didn't work. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that again, I'm not gonna lie. Come here. Come here. Come here! <laughs> Look, rock! Mmm. I mean, I didn't think it was going to kill it, but I thought it might do more than that. Kind of busy at the moment, buddy. Ravages are not the easiest thing you'll ever fight. Feel free to help me out here, pal. There's no interest, does he? <laughs> I'm busy! I'm busy! Oh, that was a great shot. Bloody Nora. Okay, that was really good. We farmed tons of materials there. You, buddy boy, need to read the room, okay? Champion killer. Well met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some cool um, coils, though. I should really be pointing them on my like thinking about that aspect a bit more. Got some good stuff. Got tons of stuff. Is that his weapon over there? I think so. Yeah, it is. No, nope, not later. Later, Aloy. Later. All right, let's chat. Oh, you came. I'm touched. You'll have to excuse the mess. Our soldiers use this place to prepare themselves before herding machines into the canyon and harvesting parts. Feel free to take any supplies you need. Already did. Our prey isn't far. I'm right behind you. This way. The sooner we get those machine hearts, the faster we'll get the water we need. Can't believe an outlander would lend us a hand when our own clan won't. Our so-called commander's always talking about how scarce water is in the desert. But do you really think anyone in Scalding Spears dying of thirst? Or our own squad? Our clan should be led by someone who knows what it's like to fight tooth and nail to survive. And I'm guessing that someone is you? I'd make sure everyone gets all the water they need. No matter what village they're from. Didn't Jataka say you guys have too little to go around to begin with? I'm sure I'd be able to fix that somehow. There's always a way. Hmm. I was going to kill the peccary, but I realized I've, I, this is why you don't put three <laughs> arrows into your bow. We're here. Casually. You wait until the right moment, because now I can't kill anything else. And I want to kill it so badly. Have a word Mind before we head in. I'll help you harvest machine hearts if it'll get water for your people. Oh, we will. That's the canyon we draw machines into. Then we block them in and pick them off. Now, we'll have to climb over the barricade to get in. When we do, be ready to fight. I already lost good people in there. Can't wait to see the champion killer in action. You go and I'll follow. No longer the saver of Meridian, which makes sense because Meridian is a Kaja settlement, and obviously these people would not 
put much stock in me saving Meridian. Instead, I'm the champion killer. Destroy that bloody weapon. Got it. There we go. What else were you weak to, buddy? Purge water, which I'm not really as equipped for, so we're gonna ignore the purge water. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. I've, I've unequipped my, um,. I was wondering why I can't do this. It's, I've unequipped it somehow. I don't know how. Now I don't have any points. <laughs> yeah, nice shot. Thanks. how those arrows turn in the air because <laughs> I clearly missed that completely. Okay. Good start. Is that the Ravager weapon? Oh, I think we might be using that. <laughs> Get this from my stash when I need it. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, what are we dealing with? One way to do it. <laughs> oh, sorry, Baba. I'm a little apprehensive about doing this if a Thunder Jaw is going to turn up and I kind of going to. Where's the other guy? Is he helping at all? Ah! ah! Nightmare, nightmare. What, am I climbing something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Be with you in a minute. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, this is painful. Yeah, now you're looking at me, aren't you, buddy? No. Oh. Out the way! <laughs> Trying to get the weapon off! Here we go! Just in case a Thunder Jaw turns up more than anything else, right? And I want to be able to, uh. Oh, missed. Purge water canister that I'm seeing there. I keep defaulting over there by accident. Try to get those horns off. I'd have to actually hit a shot though. To make that happen. Alright, buddy. There we go! There we go. There we go. I need to attend to 
tend to the dead. Make sure their tags get back to their families. If you can harvest the machine hearts, I'd be grateful. Okay, maybe things are going to be okay. Maybe everything's going to be fine. <laughs> <sighs> That's fun. I need to upgrade. Actually, something I need to start thinking about is upgrading the um, the quivers and stuff like that. I'm finding that it's hard for me to. Um, man, getting double berries is so good. Uh, it's it's hard for me to craft arrows as much because I kind of like. All the parts we need. I should take these to Draka. Keep maxing out. You know what I mean. Like, I, I'm trying not to waste resources by crafting too many arrows, but it, it'd be nice to be able to craft two sets, basically. Like, go down to zero, and then craft twice, which means I need at least 30. That's fun, though. Draka! Uh, environmental traps. Apparently. Draka! How have you gone, buddy? I know he looks sad. May the wings of the ten carry you home, my brother. I got the hearts. We should head back to Arrowhand. Yeah, at least now we can bag and tag these soldiers. Oh, hold on. Since you can clearly handle a bunch of angry machines, I want to go back to where the Thunderjaw hit us. I lost a lot more fighters there. I can't just leave them to rot. They deserve to be bagged and tagged too. Will you come with me? Lead the way. I'm not sure you see bagged and tagged, <laughs> but Thunder Jaw, Thunder Jaw, Thunder Jaw, Thunder Jaw. Th come on, Draka. Thunder Jaw, Thunder Jaw. Ah, oh, didn't we do that? To think. So many have to die just to get water. Did you try talking to your commander at Scalding Spear? <sighs> Please, the only thing she'll listen to is the sound of a bow being drawn. About that. Wouldn't mind having yours at my side if it ever came to it. I'm just passing through, Draka. Uh, you can't blame me for trying. Well, is he, oh my god, look at this place. This is really nice for a desert. It can be really hard. I know from Planet Zoo, right? It can really be really hard to make a desert look. Interesting in a lot of ways. This is it. Where the thunder jaw ripped through my squad. This is kind of beautiful. I'm sorry. Draka. Vultures! I needed vultures. All right, beautiful. To the end. We should get started. Effect. Peccary. Someone's alive. By the rocks. Ah. Vulture. Vulture! Murder. Oh, the <laughs> vultures. Burrowers. Looks like we got a fight on our hands. I'm busy. You guys handle the robots. I need to make sure I scan them all. Because what if this is like a new shiny one, you know? It's just ow, ow, ow! Wait, Apex Borrow? Right, okay, I'm not gonna use melee. Melee's for stupid people. Hit it where it hurt. Yeah, stop it, stop it. <laughs> right, yeah, these Apex ones. A little tougher. I can kill the default ones in one hit, so they're definitely tougher than that. I'm not giving up. You kidding me, Draka? <laughs> yeah, I think maybe it's just apex creatures, and they just always seem to carry hearts. Ow. Oh, 
Like, I never would consider using a elemental type. Oh, they're not even weak against anything, Boros. I was gonna say, maybe maybe now I will consider it. Oh, well. Well, I kind of deserve that. I'll do it again. I didn't get hard that time, so it's not every time. Underjaw's back. This yeah, I can see that. Rough. He's just running in there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's just. He... Hurt it much. Go. Okay, then we're gonna pop breaker. Stun no. Back on my moves. Jesus Christ. <laughs> there we go. I'm trying, buddy. I'm trying. Okay, well that's a lot of the weapons removed anyway, surely. Ah! Okay, not the scariest one apparently though, bloody Nora. Now that it's overloaded on acid once, can I do it again? Let's find out. Yeah, cool. God damn it. Oh, what? I felt that in my soul. Angry T-Rex, angry T-Rex. Very angry T-Rex. Woo! Ah, we did it! Hey, do me a favor and get the Thunderjaw's heart. I need to check on that soldier. That's fun. Okay, I feel like I've pieced some things together there as well. I did, I did not know, for example, that you could double I thought once you'd max out their elemental, it was done forever, but when the circle thing fades, when the acid effect fades, you can reapply it, which is good to know. Cool. Well, this'll do. I should check on Draka and that soldier. Such so scorpion. <laughs> I've got those arrows sticking out of it. <laughs> oh yeah, that was that was fun. Right. I could have used the weapon, sure, but I was just I was just really intent on breaking parts off. Which just have value, you know. A lot of creatures just died seemingly just from <laughs> several scorpions and lizards all just died just through virtue of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. There's one other weapon. There's another one over there. Oh, Aloy. Oh, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I really, I'm very glad that I went for uh, Part Breaker. I could use it more in that fire actually now in retrospect, but it just seems immensely helpful. 
Ton of damage. Break off lots of parts. Get loads of cool resources. Win win, really. Oh. Nearly done. <laughs> it's just a lot of things. Okay, I think that's probably it. Didn't think I was going to make it. You did good, soldier. You're going back home. Thanks to this one. You were the one who refused to leave your people behind. Uh, I know I'm racking up favors here, but uh, did you take those hearts back to Arrowhand? We'll be right behind you. Of course. Be careful. With that Thunderjaw heart in hand, we'll get all the water we need. Thank you, Aloy. What if I sell it? <laughs> okay, where's the nearest uh, campfire? Do I have that one? Uh, yeah, let's go, let's go back to the campfire, save up the game. I'll lend it that because I'm going to be applying an update and when I play an update the game yells at me well yells is the wrong word but when usually I can because of the PS5 quick resume feature I can <laughs> sounds like I'm advertising thanks to the brand new PS5 quick resume feature pattern pending no thanks to the quick resume thing I just load into the game wherever I leave off typically All right, you deserve to live. <laughs> Typically, I just load in where I leave off, but because I'm going to update the game, it tends to revert me back somewhere else. So I just want to make sure I've saved up. And uh, fun episode. Thunderjaw down, machine strike done. Next video, we'll go turn in the quest. And I think we're going to try to hunt the spike snout, although I can't remember what I needed it for. It's for this. Oh, it was. It's for my, for my armor, for the next level of armor. That's really good. Uh, shell walker we need... Don't know. We haven't found a Shellwalker site yet. And we haven't found a Plowhorn site yet either for these two. But we can go do that. We can upgrade that, which will be fun. And hopefully we get some cool stuff for turning this quest in. And then we're going to head down... We're going to go left. We're going to head towards Broken Sky. We're going to grab the Tall Neck along the way. And we'll do things as we go, is the general idea. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks next time. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.